Atlantic Beach police are still looking for the suspect there in an armed robbery. Police say this man was last seen near the wine warehouse on Atlantic Boulevard around noon Thursday. On your side, Zach Wilcox checked in with a local business. He breaks down what it was like to see what happened. Everything about it was kind of off. He, he set my radar off immediately. Mark Gracer was manning the wine warehouse alone Thursday morning when a man walked in wearing a trench coat, what looked like a wig, and a mask covering most of his face. He said the customer told him he had to run to an ATM, and when he came back with cash, he came up to the register. When Gracer popped open the drawer, I looked up and he had the gun pointed at me. Uh, did the cock thing, the you know, just to kind of get my attention, I guess, and said, "Give me all your money." So. That's exactly what I did. Gracer says he emptied a few hundred dollars from the drawer before the man took him to the bathroom and made him lock himself inside. In fact, that's when I got the most calm was when he locked me in the bath in the bathroom. I locked myself in the bathroom, but then I just backed away from the door. And went, Gracer waited a while before he came out, only to find the thief was gone, along with three $750 bottles of wine and his wallet. As if that wasn't enough to go through, within an hour, several thousand dollars was spent at a jewelry store and a clothing store in Regency. While he waits for an update from police, Gracer has had plenty of support from customers. Glad to see their wine guy is okay. Support from all my customers, friends, family. Had to tell the story a few too many times, but... Uh, it's still, I much appreciate it. Know that I have that many people that care about me. In Atlantic Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.